Your technology tutor, Chet Davis, here with you today with an exciting new development. Just heard that an online course provider, an online learning community, where I have several of my classes, has just launched a new app for iPhone that lets you take part in learning right on your iPhone or your iPod Touch. Now, again, the, the website is Udemy, U-D-E-M-Y, Udemy.com. And again, you'll find several of my uh, classes online there as well as classes from a number of other experts from all around the world on a whole host, a whole variety of different topics. Let's go ahead and, and find the app. We'll install it, and then I want to take you around through the new interface. So we're going to go ahead and launch our app store, and we're going to type in Udemy, U-D-E-M-Y, and there we have Udemy. Okay, we click on Udemy, and it should show us the app coming up. There it is, and the app is free. There are free courses and there are paid courses. Nice thing about classes on Udemy, and I'm going to talk about that here once we get this going. Let's get it going. Click on the free button to open up the app. Then click on it one more time to install the app. Now, consistent with other applications, it will ask you to put in your password. So we'll go ahead and cloak mine, get my password in there, and click OK. And it should begin downloading, installing the application. Now, one of the nice things that I love about Udemy, what attracted me to the platform, in addition to um, the great layout that I think really facilitates online learning very well, uh, interaction with your instructors, with the experts who are teaching you, but also the fact that once you register for a paid course, you have access to that course for the rest of your life. There, are, there There's not a monthly fee, there's not an annual fee, quarterly fee, none of that. If it's a paid course, you pay once, and then you can access that course uh, every day for the rest of your life, you know. Learn some stuff now, come back next month or next year for a review or to learn the next piece of the pie. Very cool stuff. Okay, it has installed, so let's go ahead and click the open button. The Udemy app has officially launched. You can choose whether or not to uh, receive push notifications. I personally am going to click don't allow. Now, we can sign up with Facebook, okay, or you can sign up with your email account. If you don't have a Facebook uh, account, Facebook profile, or you don't wish to use that, you can sign up with email, okay? You can see that here. So, all it requires is your name, an email address, and a password. I'm going to go back, though, because I already have an account with Udemy. If you already have an account with Udemy, for example, if you're one of the students in one of my online classes and you're just learning about this app, you would click at the very bottom, this gray screen that says Log In, and then you're going to enter in one of the two ways. If you've logged in with, with Facebook, you can do that, but I'm going to go ahead and enter my email and my password. And we click log in. And so it's logged in. Now it's it's going to take us through um, kind of the layout. So take your courses with you with the Udemy app. You can learn when and where you want. And we slide to see the next. So you can see your courses and you can discover new courses from the thousands of courses on the Udemy app. And then we come over here and then you can save them uh, offline. So if you're going on a plane or you're going to be out of service, out of Wi-Fi service, you can save your lectures and access them offline. This is groundbreaking. This is brand new. This is awesome. I had a, uh, a student just week before last saying, Chet, I'm going to take this uh, international plane trip and I'd love to take your course with me. How can I do that? Bingo. Here's the answer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Get Started button that you see in the upper left corner. And there it opens it up. So it's showing me the classes that I am already registered to take as a learner. Isn't that cool? Now we have a couple different options. So as we scroll down, if you don't have any classes yet, I'm going to show you how you can find some and how you can enroll today. I also want to show you this. Take a look at the upper left corner. Okay, You can either click to slide over to access your control panel or simply touch the icon in the upper left corner and it opens it up. So it shows you your account. It shows you your courses, which we've already seen. Those are the classes you're enrolled in to take. And at the bottom here we have Discover. So we can click the Discover button. And now we can discover, look for classes uh, using the filters in one of three different ways. You can see this first pane or panel is the featured courses and you can click simply touch the screen and scroll down and you'll see additional classes now I'm happy to say that I do have one of my classes here in the featured panel it's my uh, most popular class at this point in time called iPhone photography secrets now if you want to find more about a particular class you can go ahead and simply touch the artwork touch the panel there and it'll take you to the next pane which is course information 
Now, many of the classes have an introductory video. Now, you see that at the top of this panel. It's a, a, a little bit about a three minute long video that you could watch. Beneath that, there's additional information. So, first of all, we have course details. So, it tells you a little bit about the course. Sometimes it includes. Um, you know, comments from instructors, uh, comments from uh, learners, from students about the instructor, about the class, what they liked about it. And oftentimes, again, it's a summary with a good sense of what the class is all about. At the bottom of that panel, which is course details, you'll see information about the instructor of that particular class. You go back to the top and you'll see curriculum. You touch that and it opens up. And the nice thing is you can see exactly what's covered in this class, exactly what you're going to learn lesson by lesson and it shows you if it's video if it's text if it's a pdf download whatever and if it's a video you can see here for example on lecture number four iphone camera app as an introduction it's a video that's three minutes and 57 seconds long so complete details that lets you make the best decision relative to the course that you want to take go back again to the top and we see the reviews column and you click there and it shows those students who have been kind enough and chosen to uh, post a review to the course that they've taken that they've enjoyed. So you can see a five star review is the best that a class can get. And then oftentimes there are thoughtful comments left by the students. Okay, So that allows you to determine whether or not you want to take a class. If you wanted to take this class, you would simply click on the link that says take this class. Now, and it tells you what you get, okay? 92 lectures, 8 hours of content, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Availability, accessibility, return policy, okay? Now, if you click the checkout button, it'll begin the processing. Now, this is what we call an in app purchase. An in app purchase is tied to your Apple ID, okay? So it goes to the credit card that you already have filled out through your Apple ID. The benefit here, and privacy experts do like this, is you don't have to enter your credit card information, your credit card number, expiration date, etc., on your mobile device. It, that's a less secure thing to do. If you're on a compromised Wi-Fi network, for example, you may be giving that information over to somebody else. But not in this case, because you're not entering your credit card. You simply click Buy to confirm that. Every time you make a purchase, uh, on an in-app purchase, right, it, it, it requires you to uh, confirm that you want this. But I already uh, have access to this class because I'm the teacher, so I'm going to click Cancel and leave that. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and go back by clicking the upper left arrow, and it returns me. So that's the Featured column. Next, we have the New column, N-E-W, and these are the newest classes that have been placed in the iPhone app for Udemy. Lastly, we have categories. So if you wanted to search by a particular category, maybe you wanted to look at arts and photography or crafts and hobbies and education, music, languages, sports, etc. Okay. I want to point out one more. In the upper right corner, there is a search tool. See the magnifying glass? Click on the magnifying glass. It opens up the search panel. Let's say I want to, uh, I've heard this, this great instructor named Chet uh, teaches for uh, Udemy. Up oh, there we go. Okay, there's the classes, uh, some of the classes from Chet. Now, uh, Udemy does indicate in their disclaimer today that this is a brand new app. It was just released this week, okay, April 1st, 2013. So there are a couple things. There might be some little hiccups and bumps in the road that they are going to identify and address. Secondly, not every class that you'll find in the online uh, web-based Udemy platform are in the iPhone app yet. Um, that has to do with licensing agreements, with Apple's participation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, so let's go back and, and go ahead and take. Uh, I want to show you the interface controls for taking a class. So I'm going to click on my courses, and I'm going to scroll down. I'm taking a number of courses. In addition to being a teacher, I firmly believe I am also a lifelong learner. I know a lot, but there's a lot I want to learn. So one of my colleagues in Udemy, uh, Ben, uh, he's got a company called uh, Zero to Geek, a great series of lessons all dealing with technology. And one of the things I'm learning from him is how to use Google AdWords to uh, promote my classes and workshops. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. We'll go into that class. So the interface looks like this. I've already registered for this class, so here's the curriculum. We scroll down and find a lesson that we want to see. Now, of course, you can take it sequentially, and oftentimes that's the best thing to do. Some classes are set up, though, like my iPhone classes, that you can learn whatever you want, whenever you want, in whatever order. But let's say I want to uh, watch this here. How do you know if you've already taken a lecture? Well, see that full green circle, like lecture number one and number three? I've already watched those in videos in their entirety. 
Okay. If you've only watched a video partially, you get the half circle. See the half green circle on lecture two? And let's scroll down here. And you see down here, lecture six, seven, eight, no green circles. I haven't begun watching those yet. So it's a nice way. It kind of lets you um, keep track of your progress. But let's go in here and click on lecture number two, and it will open up the video panel. So right here we have the ability to play, and you see the playback triangle right here, and it will begin playing back the video. Okay, go ahead and click pause. Next to that we have a scrub so we can scrub or scroll through a class. If it's a longer video and you want to get to a particular part, you can do that. Okay, You have the ability to go full screen. So we'll get rid of any of the interface to make your viewing a little bit more hmm, uh, pleasing. It, when you go full screen like that, the playback controls appear. You see they're much larger now. So we have playback, we have fast forward, we have fast rewind. And then down here we have the volume button. And the scrub or scroll has moved now to the top. When you're done with that full screen, you can also click done in the upper left corner. And it returns you back to the course listing. Now, here's some unique things that are available here. In the upper right corner, there's the eye for information. That opens up the panel that the instructor provided additional details information. Here's what you're going to learn in here, but also here's some backup stuff. Sometimes it might be a link. For example, you can see that Ben has nicely put a link in there that gives us a coupon for AdWords. So, uh, you know, sometimes there's advantageous additional materials, supplementary materials available for us. So I'm going to go ahead and click the arrow to go back to the class here. Since we're there in the upper right corner, that's a share button. By clicking on that, we can tell people about this lesson, let our friends know we found a particularly valuable lesson via a text message, a tweet on Twitter, or a status update on our Facebook page. In the bottom right corner, a couple of novel functions. Once the class is playing, you have the ability to play it back at the, the normal one-time speed. But you can also go one and a quarter faster, one and a quarter times faster than normal, one and a half times faster than normal, two times faster than normal. Okay, which is if you know if you're a speed reader, that can that can be very beneficial. And then we go back if the person's talking very quickly, maybe riddled with technological terms, you can go half a times faster. Click it one more time, and each time you come into the interface, each time you come into the window, it'll be one times by default. I'm going to pause Ben here for just a moment and show you this last function that's just awesome. Save for offline. See this button here? This is incredible. This is a new development and I absolutely love it. When I click that, okay, it's going to download that video onto my device. Now you have to have enough space, enough hard drive space on your device to enable that. But I've intentionally picked a very short lesson. The nice thing about this is if I go out later this afternoon, maybe I go on a hike out in the middle of the woods. Maybe I'm going to a place where there's no Wi-Fi, no internet connection, no 3G or 4G. Perhaps I'm going to take a long automobile ride or I'm going to travel on an airplane and I won't have access to Wi-Fi. The cool thing is I can learn whenever I want to with this new function. I have downloaded that lesson, that lecture, that video onto my iPhone so I can watch it whenever I want to. How cool is that? Very cool. All right. Now, since that's downloaded onto my device inside the Udemy app, I can't get to the video on my device. It's, it's, it's integrated into the Udemy app. So I won't find it in my camera roll and my videos. It's inside only of the Udemy app. Once I'm done with that and I viewed it, I can click Remove Offline, and it wants me to confirm that. It deletes it from the app. It deletes it from accessing it on this device, so it doesn't take up hard drive space. When you're finished with a lesson, to keep track of it, what you probably want to do is click Mark Completed down here. Then it will show up as completed in your list. And then you can move on to the next lecture in one of two ways. Click Next Lecture in the bottom left corner, and it'll move you down to the next lecture and load that next lecture. Or you can return to the course dashboard. The way to do that is using the arrow in the top left corner of the interface right here. And it will return me to the lesson. Okay, So it returns me to the class list of curriculum. Very, very cool. I'm so appreciative of Udemy for offering this now, uh, both as a student and as a teacher. I think it's a phenomenal way to improve the online learning platform available at Udemy.com. Chet Davis, your technology tutor, saying thanks for joining me and happy learning.